Welcome to Black Ops 3's Platinum, a game filled with grindy campaign, insane zombies easter eggs, and multiplayer that made me absolutely want Not only will I be getting the Platinum, which includes the grindiest trophy I've ever gone for in my life, where you have to do 12 individual grindy challenges in order to acquire this trophy. Damn! I will also be getting the 100% for this game, which includes getting every single trophy in all 5 DLCs released for Black Ops 3. But first, let's start with the most infamous trophy in this game personal decorator my first step to getting these 12 hellish decorations was to play the game on the game's hardest difficulty realistic where you are a one shot to everything in the game what you can do to make this easier for you is to play with a squad as black ops 3 reintroduces co-op campaign into the game for the first time in seven years when call of duty world at war first introduced it despite a squad of four players making it easier to take down the hardest difficulty in the game this game still proved why it's one of the most difficult call of duties out there some missions we were easily able to breeze right by but there were also some missions that had us stuck on one checkpoint for hours our first roadblock came on the first mission of the damn game at the end of the mission we are tasked with a hold off portion where we have to sit near this crate and wait for a ship to come and save us which instantly starts to give me ptsd from another cod platinum i did the reason why this is so difficult is because there are infinite spawning enemies, they can all kill you in one shot, and if you tried to hide, random missiles would start raining from the heavens, and there was no way of stopping them. I got you, I got you. Alright, run back to me, run back to me. <laughs> he just got new. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, we're gonna die because Dean's not over here. Oh my god, god damn it. Dude, this is like survival of the- This is like freaking the end of Halo, bro. This is the end of Halo Reach. Objective, survive. <laughs> Alright, no. Bro, who actually, who is RPGing us? There, there's like 19 RPGs. Over here? Where? Like right there, you see him? I can't even see him! I think we did it. Holy we did it. Another mission we struggled on was Rise and Fall. In this mission, your objective was to plant spikes in certain weak points and then blow them all up using the spike launcher. Seems easy, right? The problem comes when you realize that the points where you need to plant the spikes are in wide open space, where there are, again, infinite spawning enemies and lots of them. The best strategy that we came up with was for three teammates to hide behind cover, send one person out and use the camouflage cyber core, plant the spike, blow it up, and then try to return safely if they didn't they crawl all the way back to where the hiding teammates were get revived and then repeat for each point but still after coming up with that strategy it took us like two hours to get past this one checkpoint after completing the campaign i was rewarded with three trophies yes we're done finally another side of the story and full circle complete the game on hardened rhetoric or realistic oh no this one isn't no one will believe you <laughs> and by the end of the campaign that would bring my total trophies to 22 as well as bringing my decoration count to three i got heroic service and legendary service which was for beating the game on both veteran and realistic as well as i got grim reaper for eliminating 2,000 hostiles during the campaign my next accolade would come when i was able to upgrade every cybernetics core in the game and i would also get a trophy for fully upgrading one cybernetics core my next step to towards unlocking all these decorations was to get every collectible in the game. In Black Ops 3, there are a total of 56 collectibles. After getting my final collectible, I would get the decoration as well as a trophy. All right, finally, after so long, I'm getting my final collectible of this freaking game. Uh, these collectibles literally make no sense. Like I'm shoving like giant robot heads. Like am I stuffing them down my back pocket? Like a raven feather makes sense to stuff in my back pocket, but nothing else. There we go, there's the last collectible. And there's the trophy curator. After that, it was time for a second playthrough of the entire campaign. But this time I was tasked with beating it on veteran without restarting a checkpoint, which in more simpler terms means to beat it without dying. This was much easier than playing on realistic, especially when played with a squad. And my squad and I were easily able to breeze past this playthrough and acquire this decoration. For this next decoration, tried and true, I had to head into the training simulator. This is an additional training course that you can access from the safe house where you can go through waves of enemies and rack up score. You get bonus score for completing the waves at a fast rate or simply by killing enemies with headshots. For this decoration, I was tasked with getting 35,000 score. That may sound like a lot, but it isn't so bad when you take into account that this can be played on recruit without penalty of playing on a lower difficulty. Just get out of my face. Just get out of my face. 
So, uh, but it isn't so bad when you take into account that this can be played on recruit. Boom. Nice. All right, we're done. That is out of the way, and I got the decoration. Nice. After that, just like unlocking all of these cybernetics cores, I also had to unlock every weapon, equipment, and cyber combat ability to get another decoration. After playing through the campaign twice and getting all the collectibles, I had enough fabrication kits to unlock everything, so I did, earning me my eighth decoration. From this point on, the rest of the decorations were the real grind of this platinum, but I will get to those later. For now, let's move over to the best thing about getting this 100%, the zombies. Black Ops 3 is well known for having the best zombies ever released for Call of Duty and getting the trophies were just as fun as I remember. We start off on the first map that came out with the launch of Black Ops 3, Shadows of Evil. The trophies for Shadows of Evil weren't anything special. Most of them I needed were just miscellaneous trophies, such as shooting five parasites, which are these fly things, while riding the train. All right, now I need to kill these guys on the train. No, stop running away from me. Can I shoot through? Oh, I can't shoot through the glass. Swap to this. This is better. Hey, there we go. Parasite seeing. After going through some of the miscellaneous trophies, it was now time for the fun part, the Easter egg. Now, this map's Easter egg doesn't grant you a trophy on completion, but we need to do this Easter egg for a trophy down the line. There are six mainline maps for Black Ops 3. Each contains a symbol next to it, signalizing completion of an Easter egg. On Revelations, which is the final DLC for Black Ops 3, it displays the summoning key and the four worms. If it shows that you have done all of the Easter eggs and you've gotten all the worms and the summoning key, you can do the super Easter egg, which you get a trophy for. So my squad and I completed the Easter egg to get that worm and there was also a worm on the DLC map the giant Which is a remake of Darius. This worm was super easy to get so I got that solo which brings me to the next map on this list Der Eisendrach. The Rise and Drax Easter Egg was an Easter Egg that I have completed many times before, so this one came across pretty easy for me. Okay, we're going into the final boss fight of this Easter Egg. Let's do it. We place these on the ground, and boom, we are in the Keeper boss fight. Now, if I don't do this first try, I'm ass. That's just the deal. I've done this Easter Egg so many times, I should be able to do this first try. All right, we got the middle. Place our things down. Get a monkey going. Okay, it's right in front of us. Switch to this, and come on, give it to me. And spam it. Spam the hell out of it. Spam it. Come on. There we go. First phase down. Easy as that. Let's go. Oh my goodness. That came too close to him. Way too close. But he, I did knock his mask off, so that's good. I'm just hoping the haymaker can just melt these dudes. All right. Should I just be using this? This is not really doing as well as I thought it would. Come on. Kill that dude. I think that's it, right? Is that the last one? No, one more. Oh, no. That's it. No, that's it. Let's go. All right, it's time. Place those in the middle. Where is it at? So that monkey. That's super easy. This is light. This is light right here. Light work and no reaction. Light work and literally no reaction, bro. Come on. Should have been using the bow the whole time because the bow literally destroys them. Is that it already? Nope, there's one more. <gasps> oh, no. All right, there's just one more round. It's just one more round. We just got to survive. That's all. All right, we got monkeys. I got to remember that too. I'm going to throw one just in case. Oh my God, please. The skulls are like the bane of my existence. Come on. I need this phase to end. I need this phase to end. Come on. Give me the middle. Give me the middle. There we go. This is it, chat. This is it. This is it. This is it. Why did I say chat? I don't know. That's my last monkey. Give me one of those. End, end. Come on. Why is it going so slow? Why is it going so slow? Come on. That's it. Let's go. Yes! Oh my god, that was so scary. All right, put the key in and let's go. We gotta put the key in and let's go. Put the key in the computer before it's too late. We're done, let's go! Yes! Dear Eisendrack Easter egg done. Now we watch and sit back while we blow up the moon. Oh, there it is. Blow up that freaking moon, man. Screw that keeper. The amount of times I've done that Easter egg and I still almost died, man. Hey, my brother's keeper. Let's go, man. That wasn't it for Derizon Jack, though. There was a couple miscellaneous trophies I needed, such as this one. Right here, I needed to plant this special weapon down on the ground and revive my teammates while they were being protected by the weapon. After some miscellaneous trophy cleanup, we were finally done with Derizon Jack. I was now ready to move on to the next.
Zetsubonoshima has the easiest easter egg, but the miscellaneous trophies and just the map in general were the most annoying thing out of all the other maps. You see, this map loves to turn you into a farmer. On top of that, I don't really appreciate being chased around by Shrek every five minutes also. The easter egg for this map only took me about an hour to complete, as again, just like Derizon Drac, I've completed this easter egg multiple times in the past. Alright, we're ready. Let's get down here. Let's do this boss fight. Yes, don't pay attention to the 28 rounds. Uh, yeah, this easter egg's really annoying sometimes. And I totally didn't have to restart one time when I got to round 15 because I forgot to put anywhere but here in my gobble gun pack. No, I totally didn't have to do that. Alright, this is one of the easier boss fights in the game. I don't have a shield, and I don't have my thing charged up, so, uh... Yeah, this isn't going to be fun. I just got to hope Shrek here doesn't, uh, you know, hit my shield once and then tap me for, I mean, because I think without Jug, he is a one hit kill. And then when I do have Jug, he gets me instant red screen, which can then put me down because the spider is, he's open. Boom. That is one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Please Shrek. I'm sorry. The spiders got in my way. There's so many, dude. What the hell? Look at him. Oh, bro. Why is there so many? Why is there so many? Oh my goodness, dude. I keep getting stuck from them spawning from the ground and the spiders. Like, look at this. It's over. Get it. Yes, we got it. Nice. Oh my goodness. That was stressful. Hey, seeds of doubt. Let's go, man. Now, after bringing out Farmer Brando to complete the rest of the map's miscellaneous trophies, I was now done with Zetsubo no Shima. Gorod Krovi is where the difficulty of Zombies Trophy starts to ramp up a bit. For Gorod Krovi's Easter Egg, I decided to put my zombie skills to the test and go into this Easter Egg completely solo. Here we go, chat. Boss fight time. I don't know if that happened. Oh, I did get him. All right, I got him. Since when does he shoot fireballs at me? Ooh. Since when does he shoot fireballs at me? Nah, bro. When does he shoot? Since when does he shoot fireballs? Ooh. Since when does he shoot fireballs? He's literally... Nah, that's got to be a new thing, bro. I got him. I got him. Alright, it's getting a little scary. It's getting a little scary. One more, one more. We're done. Let's go! What an adrenaline rush. Hey, love and war. The struggles of this map did not end as the miscellaneous trophies did not treat me well at all. For example, there was a trophy for completing every trial on the map. And I was one challenge away after 28 rounds of trying to complete it. And then Black Ops 3, my PS5, my Wi-Fi, still don't know why this happened, decided to do this to me. Wi-Fi connection loss. I swear to God, if I lag out of this game, I'm actually going to... At that point right there, I was trying to finish that trophy for about an hour and a half. Pretty sure. Uh, oh, yes. Victorious revenge. And now for this trophy. Another one that just... Uh, contain your anger, Brando. Contain it. All I needed to do was simply launch 10 zombies in the air at once. I tried this trophy multiple times and it would just not work. Eventually, I came up with the strategy to use monkey bombs to lure the zombies onto the launch pad. But get this. That would bring in, again, the beautiful RNG. So then after I went bankrupt to get monkey bombs out of the box, all I had to do was throw a monkey bomb on top of the launch pad, activate it, and hope that the trophy pops. I'm gonna throw a monkey. Monkey down. Yes, there we go. Zombie pull. Woo! Finally, that's done. The final trophy for this map was actually a fun one. I was tasked to complete a time attack, which is a speedrun challenge, and I needed to reach round 20 in under 32 minutes, which, with some luck and the help of Gobblegums, I was able to achieve. Had stick drift a little bit, but then it, like, fixed itself. Like, the, the there, there we go. Time attack. What was the reward for doing this, though, you may wonder, besides the trophy? Uh, yeah, sword. A sword that's, like, completely useless at this round. Anyways, on to the next map. It was now time for the final map in the main DLC, Revelations. Revelations, in my opinion, has the hardest Easter egg to achieve out of any map in Black Ops 3. So for this map, I had to call upon some help from a fellow YouTuber and friend, Shardix. Shardix and I were easily able to carry our teammates to a victory and complete this Easter egg, getting us two trophies by the end, 
for completing the Easter egg and completing the super Easter egg, which we were able to do for getting all of the worms. But Revelations by far had the hardest miscellaneous trophies in the entire game. For three of these miscellaneous trophies, I wouldn't be able to unlock these unless I reached up to round 40 at certain times. The first one was for wearing three different hats. Hats are pieces of equipment you can unlock inside of the map, and you can unlock these hats by accomplishing certain things inside of your game. And they give you an upgrade such as resistance towards a certain enemy or being able to run faster. It would take me until round 36 to finally unlock my final hat and earn this trophy. There we can. Wait, is that a mask? Oh, we got the Fury Helmet. Yes, wardrobe change, let's go. For this next trophy, I had to kill 40 zombies with a single activation of this corruption turret. A single activation of this turret does not last very long at all. And it is pretty difficult to be able to kill 40 zombies in such a short time without reaching a high round. So again, I had to go all the way to about round 40 in order to achieve this trophy because that's when the zombies spawned the fastest and they were the fastest in general. This is like the most success I've had in maybe trying to get 40 zombies. Doing it right here. There we go, I caught it, death rate. All right, I was about to say, if this is not it, then I give up. For the final miscellaneous trophy, I had to assist a keeper in defeating every enemy in the map. The problem arises when I realize that there are eight enemy types that all spawn in at different times. Some of which only spawn in certain locations and some only spawn on certain rounds. So I had to lead this bum around until I was barely able to get this trophy on round 31. So that was it for the main DLC of the game, but there was one more DLC I had to 100%. Zombies Chronicles is one of the best selling DLCs of all time on the PS Store and rightfully so as it brings back some of the most classic zombie maps in Call of Duty history. They gave us 8 fully remastered in HD classic zombies maps. So Treyarch, Activision, whoever, in the slight chance that any of you are listening and watching this video, please give us Zombies Chronicles 2. I'm begging. In this DLC, there are three different Easter eggs I had to complete on Shangri-La, Moon, and my favorite map of all time, Origins. And that was the first map that I decided to complete was Origins. And like Rod Crovey, I decided to hop into this one completely solo. Oh, this is stressful, man. All right. Yes, we got it done. Oh, thank God, man. Holy. All right, one more step. Now I just got to put the, the staffs in the crazy place and do the last step and we're good. Thank God that doesn't come in the crazy. Yes, little lost girl. Thank God. I got the trophy preemptively, bro. All right, I guess I don't get to see the cutscene. I mean, I don't really care because I got the trophy, but whatever. What a game. Something always has to go wrong for me, right, though? Up next was Moon's iconic Easter egg. And for this Easter egg, I decided to call upon another fellow YouTuber and friend the one and only three point gamer when this when this map first came out man i was struggling to do this easter egg <laughs> i think when this sure. map first came out i was i was struggling on kino i'm not gonna lie <laughs> hey there we go this oh, trophy is. oh Crowd yep that's all we need to do night. to get the trophy kind of weird that they didn't make it the put the other trophy included wait brando hit the middle button on your controller real quick the middle button like the big tv screen button oh, no, Yo, look at those kills guys <laughs> 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 i would do an easter egg so that's my excuse why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Hello, already? Really, Vicious? Come on, Vicious. Unacceptable, bro. Come on. I want to get that clean, you know, zero down screenshot from top bottom, and you just ruined it, Vicious. I mean, camera has two, but... No, shh, shh. We don't, <laughs> talk. What do you mean? Shh, we don't talk about We don't talk about that. Red, red, green, green, blue, blue, yellow. Yeah, just protect me as best as you can while I do this. Oh, we did it. All right, here we go. Oh, I have to do it three times, actually. Yellow, red, blue. I don't remember. <laughs> yellow, red, red, blue, yellow. So, yellow. I press red, red. No. He just, he fell off the map. <laughs> yeah, did Vicious, Yo, he... did Vicious just fall off the map? Yes, yes. Just off the, off I map. saw I saw someone die, but I was like, oh god, it was that. <laughs> now he's gonna spectate. Yeah, Is this my I'm dead. I, I don't know how I'm not dead. Okay, now I'm dead. Yes. Boom. There we go. The final Easter egg Shangri-La was the most difficult of the bunch, and I went into this one with not a great start. Alright, we ready? We ready, chat? We ready, group? We ready, gang? Yeah. You need to be on your A game. I don't wanna see no downs. 
I don't want to see no dilly dallying. I want a game. Round four, three oh, down solo. I said flawless. Out. Five downs. Six. <laughs> five, I mean, now we're at got the way, <laughs> How do you both go down, bro? Down. We got what? We got five downs. It's round five. We're averaging a, a down around oh, right now. What the f Oh my god, we're averaging a Bro, there are like ten <laughs> zombies on me, bro. Gotta go get him. I need drug, bro. Oh my I need drug. Bro, I'm not doing this, bro. I can't. It's an absolutely diabolical. <laughs> I literally showed you a box and you ran away and said there's no box near me. Yeah, I ran away because I needed, I needed points. Oh my oh, god. It's fire sale. You don't need points, bro. You need 10 points for one spin. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh. Stood there like a lemon, ego. But after a while, we were able to complete this Easter egg and earn ourselves the trophy. All right, now I just got to go upstairs and get the stone. There it is. Time travel will tell. Let's go. Easter egg done. As far as miscellaneous trophies go from Chronicles, they were all pretty easy, except this trophy that adds on to the already RNG fest that is Moon. For this trophy, I had to prevent each excavator from breaching a base in one game. Every 6 to 12 rounds, one of these excavators on the map try to breach a certain point in the Moon base. So that makes it a 33% chance for each excavator to cut. In order to make my chances better if an excavator decides to activate a second time after I already deactivated it once, I would then let it breach the moon base, which increases my odds for the other two excavators to cut to 50% each. The reason why it does that is because once the excavator breaches the base once, it won't try and breach again for the rest of the game. I actually ended up getting pretty lucky with this trophy and was able to get this on my first try. It's like right here. I know it is it's like right. It's this, this one. It's this one. Hack it, hack it. Come on, give me the trophy. Yes, scroll control, let's go! Now that zombies was over, the nice fun part was also over. Because now I had to hop into multiplayer. In multiplayer, I had to reach level 55 for a trophy. Now me personally, all my progress for this game was played on Xbox. So I had to start on level 1. The issue with this was that the American servers for this game are completely dead. No one was playing this game in North America. So what I had the result to was playing with some of my subs that were on the EU servers, which surprisingly were actually really populated. Populated with CDL pros. Finally, the grind was over. I got to level 55, but for some reason, I don't have a clip of this. But as you can see in the game, I did reach level 55. So trust me, bro. The final thing I had to do for this platinum was return back to the campaign grind. And my next decoration came after I accomplished the task of completing every accolade in the game accolades are a set of challenges on each level in the game and by far this was the most annoying thing about getting personal decorator because some of these challenges were just flat out absurd annoying just all around not fun to do and there were 16 of them on each level with 176 in total days of grinding this i was on my last mission for this task proud of a watch well yeah if you want to if the platinum i don't know how hard the platinum is but hey nice that's every accolade done, ladies and gentlemen. So many hours. Screw the accolades. Up next, I was tasked with getting every camo for every gun in the game. Every primary weapon in the game required you to get 650 kills each. Every pistol required you to get 150 kills each. And the two launchers both required you to get 300 kills. Adding that all up, I had to get over 17 thousand kills in campaign luckily there were certain levels in the game that had infinite spawning enemies that made this super easy and personally to me not that bad of a grind for my final decoration after this painful grind i had to complete every challenge inside of the campaign the main grind for these challenges was to get 500 kills with each cyber core and there were three of them martial chaos and control these in my opinion were the most tedious of the grind and that was because i can only really kill about five to ten enemies per activation of the cyber core then i would have to sit there and wait for it to charge back up again most of the time that i put into this was literally waiting for it to recharge but finally after a literal month of grinding it was time for me to get this platinum once for all i'm finally about to get the platinum for black ops 3. the only challenge i have left is to get 36 more kills with the cyber core control so without further ado let's go in all right right here is where we grind the kills this is where i've been sitting in for the past pretty much this whole entire day i've been switching between this mission and rise and fall for just doing combat challenges people were warning me on the camo challenges like oh you're gonna hate camo challenges it's gonna kill you oh dude the camo is gonna kill you bro such a grind no one told me about the challenges though the challenge 
challenge challenges, like the calling cards. These suck even harder than the camos, dude. All right, there should be plenty of kills now. If we back out, this should be the challenge. Let's see. There we go. We have all of them done. So now when we go back in our thing, we should get that calling card and the final decoration. Please give it to me, man. Oh. There it is, personal decorator and... Oh my... Oh, the platinum for BO3 after so long. The grind is finally over. Look at this beautiful, beautiful cabinet right here with all the decorations. It's finally over. Oh man, that was like a platinum trophy inside of getting a platinum, man. That was so much. PlayStation says it took me 182 hours. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys want to see another video where I platinumed a hard Call of Duty, click on this video right here.